Welcome everyone to this week's newsletter. It's been a busy few weeks, so let's get into it. I want to thank all the families that attended student learning conferences. Being invested in your child's education as a parent is one of the most important things you can do. By coming along and actively listening to your child share their learning is such a powerful example of this in action. One question that inevitably pops up at learning conference time is parents wanting to talk to their teacher about reports or their child's learning progress. Parents are welcome to contact classroom teachers and make a scheduled time to do this. The framework of learning conferences is student-centred, but that doesn't mean we don't want parents making the time to touch base with their child's teacher if they have any queries or concerns. In fact, this is something I'd encourage you to do sooner rather than later at any time during the year and have seen many positive examples of this in action at Teesdale in my time already. Over the past four night, we've been putting some substantial time into some gardening works to ensure our kitchen garden and school grounds continue to be maintained and organised. We've had mulch spread on the playground to make this area larger and spread around 30 metres of mulch in the kitchen garden to suppress weeds. On Friday, construction on our hothouse started. This will allow us to plant and propagate our own seedlings all year round and be yet another learning experience for students in the kitchen garden. I've had the pleasure of attending swimming with our junior school students as part of their swimming program. I've been so impressed with their participation, organisation and independence at the pool, as well as the way they've been respectful to their teachers in the water. I've received comments from the swimming teachers regarding this and I'm proud of the way they've conducted themselves and represented our school. At swimming, teachers have been encouraging the students to be organising themselves to pack belongings and get changed independently. One of the bonuses of a swimming program is that teachers can develop these skills with students. Some of the students attending swimming will participate in camp as early as next year. Why not start developing skills to get dressed, packed up and organised as part of our swimming program and even on a daily basis at home. Sure as parents we get out the door quicker each day if we do help but the skills children can develop doing this independently are lifelong. Thanks for watching.